every single bite that I took is just like I'm lost of word and I had to basically put all my utensils down and stop to enjoy the taste and what is really going on in my mouth. Hey guys, what's up? Adam here. Welcome to another episode of Honest Hotel where we go around places checking into hotels, resort retreats and even Airbnb. We are now at the train station on our way to the main hub where our accommodation is going to be at for this episode. The train system is an efficient way to travel around the city of Kuala Lumpur. So without further ado, let's go! The KL Central Station is located right at the heart of the city. It is the main hub which connects the various train systems available at Peninsula Malaysia. So passengers come here to transit from north and the south part of the country. You may also go to airport terminals and get you to the various part of the city of Kuala Lumpur. Got here through the Kelana Jaya line. There is also the Ampang line, which made up the entire LRT system that will get you in and out of the city. The KL monorail system connects major hotspots within Kuala Lumpur. There are also the KLRA Express and Transit that will take you to the two Kuala Lumpur International Airport terminals. The KTM Intercity is an international transit system from Bangkok and Singapore. Little India is a bustling street with colourful walkways in front of various stores operated by the Indian community. You will find traditional goods here such as sari, spices and imports from India. There are also various restaurants here that serve delicious Indian cuisine. The tantalising smell of Indian spices will definitely lure you into one of them. The Vivekananda Ashram is over 100 years old. It was a primary Tamil school that started with 13 students and one teacher. It now manages four schools with a collective population of 2,500 students. We happen to be there during the Diwali festival season and everything is in full swing. Happy Diwali guys!
We are now at Seri Nirvana Maju for lunch. The banana leaf rice is originated from India. It was brought here through the migration of the Southern Indian. Traditionally a vegetarian dish, it consists of rice, an assortment of vegetables, pickles, papadam, as well as your choice of gravy. The leaf acts as a disposable plate and is not eaten. Etiquette dictates that after a meal, you will have to fold your leaf inward as a sign of gratitude to the host even if you are at the restaurant and if it's being served at the funeral you will fold the leaf backwards We have finally arrived at the Nomad Service Residences. This is at an urban district of Bangsa famous for its nightlife. A residential area popular for the expat. This is an ideal place to stay, to escape the hustle and bustle of the city, while still close enough to enjoy what Kuala Lumpur has to offer. So guys, let me introduce to you the Nomad Residences one bedroom suite. This is a 600 square feet unit. Right behind me is the living room, comes with comfortable sofa, beautiful ambient lights, and an entertainment system. And over here we have a two person sitter dining area. Simple, elegant, gets the job done. These suites also come with a fully equipped kitchen. It has a refrigerator, microwave oven, induction cooker, and all the utensils. It's definitely everything that you need for a long stay vacation. So guys, we are now in the bedroom. All of their studio room and their one bedroom suite comes with a king size bed configuration. If you would like a twin bedded, you can actually opt for their two bedroom suite or their three bedroom suites. There's a wardrobe and table to manage your luggage. A safe deposit box is inside together with iron and board. This suite comes with a single washroom that has a shower section and a vanity area. Towels are also provided for two person in this spacious fully marble washroom. And of course, all the washroom amenities for a comfortable stay.
we are now at Telawi Street. Just less than 5 minutes away from our accommodation, this row of shop houses various eateries from international restaurants, pub, cafes to local delights. It also has a shopping mall where you can stock up on groceries. We are here for dinner, so let's look for a place to eat. As mentioned, Bangsa is a popular night spot. It is a place for people to come to dine and have an enjoyable evening. Be sure to get here early or make an advanced reservation for a great dining experience. You may end the night with visiting a dessert cafe or spend it at the watering hole for a pint or two. Alright guys, I just want to say that this part of the video isn't really pre-planned at all. I wasn't expecting this. But the dinner that we just had is just absolutely amazing. For appetizer, we had the steak tartar. And for my main course, uh, I think I ate the, well, I ate the scallop with duck liver and caramelized pear. It's just absolutely brilliant and amazing. Uh, every single bite that I took is just like, I'm lost of word and I had to basically put all my utensils down and stop to enjoy the taste and what is really going on in my mouth. So if you really have the chance to come here at Telawi Street, you should come and try out this restaurant called The Yeast. I am definitely sure that you will not regret it. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. We are now at the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. It is one of the city's most famous attractions. The park has over 3,000 locals and foreign birds with approximately 200 different species. It is famous for its free flight zone where birds are able to roam free and not be in cage. And of course, they can interact with a visitor as well. So you will get an experience closely resemble of being in a tropical rainforest. All right, guys, this is just awesome. I'm literally surrounded by birds because I'm just sitting here relaxing, having my waffle. I wonder if they are here for the food or they are here for me. Likely it's the food.
So guys, it's been a blast filming this episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please do give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell icon for future notification. Of course, do check the description below for more information and comment below and tell us what you think about what we are doing so far. I'll see you guys soon and stay tuned.